Hello friends. In the past video, we discuss classification of Volterra integral equations, particularly Volterra integral equation, first kind, second kind, homogeneous, non-homogeneous. And also, we discuss uh, formation of Volterra integral equation, how to solve the Volterra integral equation in various methods the four methods we discussed in the past video students uh, friends today we are going to discuss fredel ohm integral equation and also solution of fredel ohm integral equation particularly one method we can discuss in this video right now what is fredel ohm integral equation general form the general form of the fredel ohm integral equation is this structure alpha x pi of x is equal to f of x plus lambda times of integral to be k of x xi pi xi t xi already we know an integral equation is said to be a fredel ohm integral equation both lower and upper limits are constants or fixed real numbers so here alpha x alpha x f of x k of x i these are the known functions and this function pi of x is a known function here the x and x i values lies between in the interval a and b x lies between a and b and x i lies between a and b yes this is called as a fredel ohm integral equation it is equation 1 we say this is called general form of the fredel ohm integral equation here the particular here this k of xi is called as kernel of the fredel ohm integral equation All right now here first kind second kind homogeneous non homogeneous fredel ohm integral equations is depending upon alpha x and pi of x if alpha x is equal to 0 this equation is becomes f of x plus lambda times of integral e to be k of x i pi x i dz is equal to 0 we put alpha x is equal to 0 in equation 1 this becomes like this so this equation is known as fredel ohm integral equation of first kind this equation is known as fredel ohm integral equation of first kind are also written as f of x is equal to lambda times of integral a to b k of x i pi x i d x i right then uh, if we take alpha x is equal to instead of alpha x 1 this equation becomes pi of x is equal to so this is 1 into pi of x is equal to f of x plus lambda times of integral a to b k of x i pi x i d x i this is known as fredel ohm integral equation of second kind this is fredel ohm integral equation of second kind it is also called as non homogeneous fredel ohm integral equation when f of x is not equal to 0 not particularly f of x 0 f of x not equal to 0 then we call it is a non homogeneous fredel ohm integral equation if alpha x is equal to 1 here alpha x is equal to 1 here also alpha x is equal to 1 in particular f of x is equal to 0 this equation is called as a homogeneous fredel ohm integral equation of second kind alpha x is equal to 1 f of x is equal to 0 then the equation becomes equation 1 becomes pi of x is equal to this f of x is 0 so that lambda times of a to b k of x i pi x i d x i this is called as a homogeneous fredel ohm integral equation in this case equation 3 you observe in equation 3 f of x not equal to 0 f of x not equal to 0 we call as a fredel ohm integral equation of second kind if f of x also 0 we say that it is homogeneous fredel ohm integral equation of second kind so these are the classification of integral fredel ohm integral equations now we are going to solve such a type of fredel ohm integral equations solutions of fredel ohm integral equations for finding the fredel ohm integral equation solutions that means for finding solution of fredel ohm integral equation we can use many methods so firstly we discuss 
method of successive approximation this is the one of the best method for solving fedal home integral equation so this is the method of successive approximation now i am taking one problem that is solve the following non homogeneous fedal home integral equation of the second kind by the method of successive approximation to the third order the given fedal home integral equation is this one now we are going to solve this fedal home integral equation pi of x is equal to 2x plus lambda times of 0 to 1 k of uh, x plus xi pi xi dz so first approximation pi naught of x is equal to 1 pi naught of x is equal to 1 by using this approximation we can find pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 and uh, this is called as a successive approximation to the up to third order we have to find so given fedal home integral equation it is the fedal home integral equation why we call this fedal home integral equation so lower limit is 0 upper limit is 1 both are the fixed real numbers pi of x is equal to 2x f of x is here this value is equal to here f of x is equal to 2x f of x is equal to 2x kernel k of x z is equal to x plus z x plus z then first approximation phi naught x is equal to 1 so comparing this equation with non homogeneous fredel home integral equation of second kind non homogeneous fredel home integral equation of second kind that is that is phi of x is equal to f of x plus lambda times of integral a to b k of x xi pi xi d xi so k of x is equal to this one f of x is equal to this one so these are the given information so that we have to solve this integral equation by in general nth approximation the general approximation pi n x is equal to this one pi n x is equal to f of x plus lambda times of integral a to b k of x i into pi n minus 1 z dz for taking n is equal to 1 for keeping for n is equal to 1 we get pi 1 x which is equal to f of x plus lambda times of integral 0 to 1 x plus xi pi xi d xi that means actually actually you observe here here i am taking n is equal to 1 pi 1 x is equal to f of x plus lambda times of integral a to b k of x xi pi 1 minus 1 0 pi naught xi d xi already we know that pi naught xi is equal to so pi naught xi value is uh, 1 because of it is a constant function k of x i is equal to x plus i right then i am substituting here pi 1 x is equal to f of x means f of x means 2x 2x plus lambda times of integral 0 to 1 so this is a uh, actually k of x i k of x i value is x plus i pi of xi it is a constant function 1 into d xi now i am going to solving this in integral equation that means what 2x plus lambda times of so integration with respect to integration with respect to xi so x plus xi into 1 is x plus xi d xi which is equal to 2x plus lambda times of integration of x with respect to xi x is a constant x into xi plus xi integration is xi square by 2 limits are 0 to 1 this means 2x plus lambda times of so these are the limits of xi xi is equal to 0 to xi is equal to 1 now by using fundamental theorem of calculus substituting upper limit minus lower limit upper limit is what xi so x into x into xi xi is 1 x into 1 plus 1 square by 2 minus lower limit is 0 so x into 0 plus 0 square by 2 0 this means 2x plus lambda times of lambda times of x into 1 x plus 1 by 2 so complete this part is 0 so this is x plus 1 by 2 so the first approximation pi 1 x is equal to 2x plus lambda times of x plus 1 by 2 so this is the value of pi 1 x now we have to find pi 2 x for finding pi 2 x put n is equal to 2. for finding 
pi to x put n is equal to 2 in nth approximation so that means pi to x is equal to pi to x is equal to this is f of x plus lambda times of integral a to b k of x is i so pi n minus 1 pi 2 minus 1 means pi 1 x pi 1 xi d xi this is the second approximation already we know the values of f of x k1 x i and pi 1 xi value so this is equal to f of x means 2 x plus lambda times lower limit is 0 upper limit is 1 k of x i is equal to x plus xi pi 1 xi already here we calculate pi 1 xi is equal to 2 x actually pi 1 x is equal to actually we have pi 1 x is equal to previous approximation 2 x plus lambda times of lambda times of uh, that value is uh, x plus 1 by 2 so it is pi 1 x but we need pi 2 xi so that means what 2 xi plus lambda times of xi plus 1 by 2 here 2 xi plus lambda times of xi plus 1 by 2 into d xi this means Two x plus lambda into integral zero to one. I can multiply x with this entire function. X into two xi two xi x plus uh, lambda x xi plus x by two plus again multiply with xi two xi square plus lambda into xi square plus xi by two all d xi. Now. 2x plus lambda times of integral 0 to yeah I am taking integration with respect to with respect to xi so 2 into xi x is constant xi square by 2 lambda into x constant x xi square by 2 plus so x by 2 into xi plus 2 xi square xi square integration is xi cube by 3 plus lambda times of it is xi cube by 3 plus xi square by 2 by 2 means the xi square by 4 limits are 0 to 1 means 2x plus lambda times of now upper limit is 1 instead of xi I am substituting upper limit is 1 that means 1 2 to get cancelled x into xi means 1 1 square means 1 so x plus lambda times of just I am replacing xi by 1 it is x by 2 so x by 2 into 1 is x by 2 plus 2 by 3 into 1 plus lambda into lambda into this is z value is 1 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 I am substituted upper limit now then lower limit so lower limit is 0 so this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 entire this part is 0 entire the part is 0 for substituting lower limit the entire part is 0 so that we get 2x plus lambda times of lambda times of this is x plus x by 2 plus x by 2 2x by 2 means again x it is lambda times of x uh, plus 2 by 3 plus lambda into 4 plus 3 7 by 12 yes so again I am simplifying this lambda times of lambda times of this value pi 2x is equal to 2x plus lambda times of uh, it is a x plus lambda x now you see it is x it is a 2 by 3 so I am writing this is a x plus 2 by 3 times of lambda that means x plus 2 by 3 plus look here lambda into lambda lambda square common lambda square common so lambda into lambda lambda square whose coefficient is x right lambda into lambda lambda square whose coefficient is 7 by 12 therefore this is 2x plus lambda 2x plus lambda times of x plus 2 by 3 plus lambda square times of x plus 7 by 12 this is the value of pi 2x now I am going to find pi 3 for n is equal to n is equal to 3 in nth approximation we get pi 3x is equal to f of x plus lambda times of integral a to b k of x i kernel pi 3 minus 1 means pi 2 xi d xi so that means uh, this is equal to f of x is the 2x plus 
f of x value is 2x plus lambda lower limit is 0 upper limit is 1 k of x i is x plus xi so pi 2 xi means total this value is pi 2 xi I'm substituting this 2x plus lambda times of x plus 2 by 3 plus lambda square times of x plus x plus pi 2 xi sorry actually it is pi 2 xi means it is pi 2 x but we need pi 2 xi for that I can write this is like that like that uh, so xi xi plus 7 by 2 7 by 2 then, into d xi so look here it is pi 2 x but we need what pi 2 xi pi 2 xi means replacing x by xi so this is uh, 2 xi plus lambda times of xi 2 by 3 plus lambda square times of xi plus 7 by 2 value into d xi now I want to calculate integrate this one now after simplifying this 2x plus uh, lambda times of integral 0 to 1 I can use simple multiplication x plus xi into 2 xi that means what x into 2 xi 2x xi plus uh, xi into 2 xi 2 xi square then entire I can multiply x plus xi with, with this one x plus xi with this term means whose coefficient is lambda so I can firstly multiply with xi into this plus xi into x plus xi that means what x xi plus xi square again 2 by 3 into this one so lambda times of 2 by 3 into x 2 by 3 x plus 2 by 3 into xi 2 by 3 xi plus now this multiply with this term this means what lambda square so xi with x plus xi xi can be multiplied with x plus xi x xi plus so xi into xi xi square so 7 by 12 with x plus xi so lambda square into 7 by 12 into x plus 7 by 12 into xi d xi now I want to evaluate this integral so now we get 2x plus lambda times of integration with respect to xi so that this is 2x xi square by 2 plus 2 xi cube by 3 lambda into x xi square by 2 plus xi cube by 3 right plus lambda into 2x 2x xi by 3 because of uh, x is constant here 2 by 3 into xi integration is xi square by 2 yes it is over then come to this one plus lambda cube into x xi square by 2 plus uh, xi cube by 3 plus lambda square into this one 7 by 12 x constant integration with respect to xi means xi plus 7 by 12 into xi square by 2 with the limits xi is equal to 0 to xi is equal to 1 now by using fundamental theorem of calculus I am substituting the upper limit upper limit is now I am substituting the upper limit of integral is 1 and lower limit is 0 for that I get 2 times of x 2x plus lambda times of so xi is equal to 1 means it is 2 to get cancelled here x plus uh, 2 by 3 plus lambda times of uh, upper limit is 1 for that uh, x by 2 plus uh, 1 by 3 again lambda of times of this is uh, 2x by 3 plus uh, 2 to get cancelled 1 by 3 right plus lambda times of lambda cubes oh sorry this is uh, lambda square it is also lambda square lambda square times of x by 2 plus 1 by 3 lambda square times of this is a 7 by 7 by 12 x plus 7 by 12 into 1 square by 2 means 1 by 2 now minus I am substituting lower limit minus so this is a contains xi for that this value is equal to 0 this is 0 this is 0 every term containing xi for that the lower limit whenever I substitute lower limit all the terms should be 0 see clearly every term contains xi so that whenever I am substituting lower limit is 0 here uh, this term must be equal to 0 for that I can get a 2x plus 2x plus uh, lambda times of lambda times of uh, here you see the x plus 2 by 3 x plus 2 by 3 is a lambda term then uh, lambda into lambda lambda square lambda square terms lambda square 
Uh, after simplifying this, we get finally, after simplifying this, here lambda, lambda square, lambda into lambda, lambda square, lambda into lambda, lambda cube, lambda into lambda square, means lambda cube, like that, I get a lambda coefficient is expressed to by 3. So, lambda into lambda, lambda square, whose coefficients are here, x by 2 plus 1 by 3, and also, uh, yeah, like that, we get the final answer of this one is, lambda square into 7x plus, 7x by 6 plus 2 by 3, plus I am writing directly lambda cube into 13x by 12 plus 5 by 8. So here 2x lambda coefficient, lambda square coefficient, lambda cube coefficient. This is the third approximation phi 3x. It is called as a third approximation. Third order approximation. This is phi 3x. Phi 3x is equal to this one. Now you see is phi 2x is equal to 2x plus 2x plus lambda times of x plus 2 by 3 plus lambda square into x plus 7 by 12 here here pi 3x is equal to this one so up to here so this is the solution of the given integral equation right thank you thank you very much so please take this assignment problem similar model i'm giving problem pi of x is equal to 1 plus lambda times of 0 to 1 x plus xi pi xi d xi pi naught x is equal to 1 just uh, Comparing previous problem, this problem, just a change is pi, the function f of x value is 1, kernel k of x i is same, pi of z dz, pi naught x is also first approximation is same. Just to only change it is here, f of x, here f of x is equal to 1 this kunnamu, in the f of x is equal to some function 2 of x, that is the only change. Here I am giving the answers also, pi 1x, pi 2x, pi 3x, these are the terms. Right now, I'm giving, I'm explaining one more method. That is the construction of resolvent kernel by using iterated kernel. I'm briefly explaining this method also. So right, uh, due to time factor, I'm direct explaining method. So right, so construction of resolvent kernels by using the iterated kernel. It is the method two for solving of Friedel home integral equation. Suppose the given Friedel home integral equation is this is non-homogeneous Friedel home integral equation. So, pi of x is equal to f of x plus lambda times of integral to be k of x i pi x i dz it is equation 1. Here we call k of x i is called as a kernel. Here k of x i is called kernel. The iterated kernels are given by k of 1 x i. First iteration, second iteration, third iteration. So, first iteration, first iteration is given by k 1 x i is equal to k of x i. So, first iteration is nothing but kernel. And uh, n plus 1th iteration, kn plus 1 x xi is equal to integral a to b k of x z kn z xi dz. This is the question. Please remember this formula. The n plus 1th iteration, kn plus 1 x xi is equal to integral a to b k of x z x z variable is changed here, not xi. k of x z into kn z xi dz for n is equal to 1, 2, 3 like that. So, for I am taking n is equal to 1, we get k2. Already k1 here we get k2, n is equal to 2, k3, n is equal to 3, k4, third iteration, fourth iteration like that we are getting. After getting these iterations, we have to find the resolvent kernel Rx, Rx xi lambda. The resolvent kernel by using the iterated kernels is given by, and the iterated kernel supayaginchukuntu, resolvent kernel R of x xi lambda ni kalpto chayali. Dhanik sammandhi nchani 20 method formula intent, v is equal to 0 to infinity summation, lambda power v k of v plus 1 x i so v is equal to 0 to infinity lambda power v k of v plus 1 x i so put v is equal to 0 we get lambda power 0 into k1 x i first iteration k1 x i plus lambda into k2 x i plus after simplifying this we get k1 k1 x i plus lambda into k2 x i plus lambda square into k3 x i that means it is also written as n is equal to 0 to infinity n is equal to 1 to infinity lambda power n minus 1 k n x i so it is the same meaning of this and this are same meaning here i can write in terms of n in terms of v like that so after getting resolvent kernel for a solution of given integral equation i can use this formula so now the solution of the given Friedel home integral equation is given by pi of x is equal to f of x plus lambda times of integral a to b r of x i lambda f of x i t i. Here previously we can consider as k of x i. But here whenever we take the integrand is the resolvent kernel, 
So this is the solution of resolvent kernel by using iterated kernels. If we have R of x i lambda calculate chase in Tarvata, our value in this coach you can substitute chest amo, already f of x tells you, f of xi tells you. So then we have solution of the given integral, federal home integral equation by the method of, by the method of iterated kernel. Friends, I am taking one problem. For example, for problem, this problem can be solved by using iterated kernel method. Find the resolvent kernel. R of x i lambda, e resolvent kernel means R of x i lambda for k of x i is equal to e power x plus i, lower limit is 0, upper limit is 1. Here kernel, only kernel is given, lower limit is given, upper limit is given. Now we are going to find resolvent kernel R of x i lambda. Already we know that iteration, first iteration k1 x i is equal to k of x i. k1 x i is nothing but k of x i. k of x i and already got each number 20 formula in t e power x plus y. Okay now. Now, nth approximation of iterated kernel k n plus 1th iterated kernel k n plus 1 x i is equal to integral a to b k of x z x z this is z k n z z i d z right this one by using this iterated kernel i can find k2 k3 k1 k2 k3 like that already k1 means what for n equal to 1 k1 is nothing but given kernel given kernel is what e power x plus i now for n is equal to 1 i get k2 x i here k2 x i is equal to integral 0 to 1 k of x z by using this formula k1 z i t z already the first iteration k1 k1 z i is equal to here k1 z i but here you observe k1 x i is e power x plus i x x i and x plus i in the but i need what k1 z i just replacing x by z z i is same z place low, you can x in the moon x on the you can manum z this one k1 z z i means e to the power of z plus z i e to the power of z plus z i into d z just i am substituting the value of this one right integral 0 to 1 k of x z means e power x plus z k1 z z i means e to the power of z plus z i d z so e power x plus z i into so bases are equal power should be added e to the power of x plus z here e power z z plus z 2 z so I can separate these two e power x plus i into e power 2z because integration with respect to z these two are constant these two are constant for that I can write this like that right then uh, e power x plus z is outside integration of e power 2z with respect to z is e power 2z by 2 lower limit is 0 upper limit is 1 now taking upper limit is 1 e power x plus z i into e power 2 into 1 e square by 2 minus e power 0 is 1 by 2 this is the first second iterated kernel k2 second iteration k2 it is the first iteration first iteration it is second iteration now i am taking for n is equal to 2 i get a third iteration because of 2 plus 1 3 k3 xi is equal to according to this scenario 0 to 1 k of x i into k2 z xi dz so you observe here here k1 here k2 so that k3 is depending upon second iteration k1 k3 is depending upon k2 k2 is depending upon k1 so this iteration is depend it's a previous iteration for this scenario this is a 0 to 1 e power x plus z e power z plus i into this value is equal to k2 x i value you can substitute this now what do you mean here e 0 to 1 e power x plus z e power z plus i e square minus 1 by 2 this is constant only z variable e power x plus z is also constant yes so e square minus 1 by 2 e power x constant and xi constant outside e power x plus xi e power x plus xi e square minus 1 by 20 e power x plus xi is constant only e power 2z e power 2z integration is e power 2z by 2 now apply the limits we get e square minus 1 by 2 therefore e square minus 1 by 2 into e square minus 1 by 2 e square minus 1 by 2 whole square into e power x plus xi this is the third iteration so in general in general now can you imagine nth iteration you see first iteration is e power x plus i second iteration is e power x plus i into some e square minus 1 by 2 power is 1 so third iteration k3 is equal to e square minus 1 by 2 whole square into e power x plus e power x plus i is common here power is 1 here power is 2 therefore nth iteration in general k n x i is equal to e square minus 1 by 2 whole power n minus 1 in third iteration we get power is 2 in fourth iteration we get power is 3 
So one is reducing for that uh, e power n minus one e square minus one by two whole power n minus one e, e to the power of x plus i. These are the second, third, fourth, nth iterations. Now resolvent kernel r of xi lambda is equal to already we know n is equal to one to infinity lambda power n minus one lambda power n minus one k n xi. This is the nth iteration. This after expanding of this, uh, we get n is equal to one to infinity lambda power n minus one. What is k n? This value k n x i is equal to k n x i nth iteration of this is equal to this one, right? I am substituted. Just I am substituted nth iteration here. So e power x plus x i is constant. So because of uh, it is depending upon only n values e power x plus x i n is equal to one to infinity lambda into e square minus one by two whole power n minus one whole power n minus one. This is fixed constant outside of the summation. So e power x plus x i into I can denote this total term as t t power n minus one. This value is equal to t. I can take in t is equal to lambda into e square minus one by two. Okay, yes, just only t is equal to lambda by two into e square minus one by two. Power n minus one on the cover t. I can write t power n minus one. This is the value of this one. Summation n equal to one to infinity t power n minus. Suppose I am taking n is equal to one here. T power zero means one. N equal to two. So I am I am uh, uh, reducing summation. X is so therefore e to the power of x plus i into one plus t plus t square like that. So this means you see here e to the power of x plus i one plus t plus t square plus an infinite terms. So we know that when when a mod x is less than one, we have formula mod x is less than one. One minus x whole to the power of minus one is equal to one plus x plus x square plus x cube plus and so on. This is the expansion of this is the expansion of one minus x whole power minus one when mod x is less than one. For the scenario same here, we can also apply e to the power of x plus i into this is the expansion of one minus t whole to the power of minus one. That means e power x plus i by one minus t. E power x plus i by one minus. It is the value of r of x i lambda. R of x i lambda is equal to e to the power of x plus i by one minus t. One minus t. What is t means? E to the power of x plus i by one minus t is equal to already we assume as e square minus one by two. So t is equal to lambda into lambda into e square minus. This is the value of t t lambda into e square minus one by two. I can substitute it here. So it is e power x plus i into one minus t. In mod t less than one, that means I am substituting lambda value. So this, after simplifying this, r of x i lambda is equal to two times of e to the power of x plus i. So two minus lambda times of e square minus one. For lambda value is less than one. This is less than one means uh, uh, mod mod lambda by two is less than one. This means uh, this means uh, lambda by two into e square minus one e square minus one e square minus one is less than one. This scenario I can calculate it. This is lambda mod lambda is less than one by mod lambda is less than this goes to two two by this is e square minus one. After simplifying this one, so lambda time lambda is always less than two by e square minus one. So when lambda is satisfying this condition, R of x i lambda is equal to this one. So for finding solution of the integral equation by using resolvent kernel, so substituting this R of x i lambda in Pi of x is equal to in pi of x is equal to our formula pi of x is equal to f of x plus lambda times of integral zero to one r of x xi lambda r of x xi lambda into now I can find the solution for this f of xi t xi. So e r of x xi lambda and this kochi into the substitute cheste. Apo e din ne manta mante this is the solution of Friedel Hohn integral equation. So, I can then substitute just them. Just R of x i lambda and substitute just that. No, f of x is around the gap, but I mean, f of xi is just only. Then substitute just the other one. Friedel Hohn integral equation solution. And so, in the middle, you know, Walter integral equations for which solutions so four methods of details are better than just in the e video lo only solution of Friedel Hohn integral equation. Some of the two methods discuss just in the so remaining methods next video lo discuss just that. Uh, thank you for watching this video if you if you like this video please subscribe and share your friends so chala mandi ki avasaram unna pillalu untaru vaalla kosam idi share share cheyandi deeni particular ga nenu msc vaalla koraku prepare cheyadam jarigindi